Just Cause 5 is in development and we need to talk about that. Let's get to the video. Hello, it's George from Australia and welcome to Gaming My Whole Life where I discuss everything video game related from good old past pixels to the birth of 3D until now. Welcome to my humble smexy Australian gaming YouTube channel. Now, ladies and gentlemen, a new Just Cause game is a very exciting thought indeed. It has been confirmed during, you guessed it, an investor's call. That seems to be how all the leaks and announcements happen. During an investment cause, they did say, hey, we have not given up on the um, Just Cause franchise. You know, they are actively working on the next Just Cause game, a new Just Cause game, right? Like that is very exciting. And it's been a while since we've had a Just Cause game. So the talented studio who made the series is Avalanche Studios. They have made quite a number of games since then. More specifically, because I want to highlight it just because I love this other game, in 2019, they made the Rage 2 game. You know, Rage 2 I've spoken about several times on this channel. I think it's actually a great game. I got it for free on the um, Epic Game Store. Turns out it was it's actually a really good game. I should have bought it. But anyway, I have my hands on it. I want to talk about how I feel we can improve the series, what we can look forward to, and generally this virtual space that I've made for my smexy fellow gamers. It's just people to get excited that A, yes, a new Just Cause game is coming out. It's probably going to be called Just Cause 5. So let's get all excited together. Let's figure out areas we can improve. And um, if you do enjoy this sort of positive content from a YouTuber, you know what to do. I'm not going to brag on. Hit the bell notification. No, I did that wrong again. Hit the subscribe button, then the bell notification. Now, let's get to the video. Alrighty, let's bring you up to date with what Just Cause is just about. Ha! Huh, accidental pun, but I'll take it. I love me my, ja my dad jokes. So, Just Cause is a third person action game, right? Imagine Grand Theft Auto where you can run around like a big exotic location. You know, there's streets, there's cars you can steal, there's innocent people you can destroy. There's bombs, there's explosions, there's machine guns, there's all this stuff. And the whole point of the game is to have a sandbox where you can do anything you want, right? That's what the Grand Theft Auto games are known about. So imagine that. Imagine the absolute chaos that a Grand Theft Auto game can bring and then ramp it up 900%. I am not even kidding. Just Cause is known for being absolutely insane with what you can do. And more specifically, it's physics engine right so one of the main components of just cause is the fact that you have infinite um parachutes right and you're like right okay what's what, what does a parachute have, have have to do with anything what's so important about a parachute well a parachute with a graveling hook you mix those together and you can do insane things so let's talk about the hook right let's talk about the evilness that is just cause there is a hook Yep, you shoot it, it hits another point, and then you fly towards a point. Cool, combine a parachute with it, which means while you're flying, you open up your parachute, you go flying in the air. So it, be it becomes very um, noticeable and obvious very early on throughout any of the Just Cause games that even though you can use cars, if you want, you can literally just stay in a parachute forever, no exaggeration, and just keep hook lining the ground beneath you and buildings and you go high up and the whole world is your oyster. But the chaos, the absolute sheer madness that you can do with the hook is hilarious because you can use it in more than one way, right? You can use it more than one way. It isn't just getting you two things. You can connect things to each other and yes that includes people so one of the very first things i did in just cause when i started playing it, i believe it was just cause three at that stage and i have just cause four um one of the first things i did which i was so freaking proud of myself is i stood on the road you know being, being the awesome non-violent gamer that i am right staying on the road and a car was slowly driving by and i couldn't help but notice that there was a pedestrian not too far away so i may have connected one end of the hook to the back of the car as it passed and then connected the other side of the hook to the pedestrian <laughs> and exactly what you think happened the car drove off dragging behind this poor pedestrian 
<laughs> was getting dragged behind, right? But there is no limit to what you can do. You can, you can connect the cars to each other, right? You can get a car to hang off a bridge by the hook. You can get multiple hooks connecting multiple things. And Just Cause 4 took that to an extreme level, right? They really implemented a lot of mechanics. So yeah, sure, we have a hook, we have a parachute and some madness in steels. Okay, what else is there to do? Well, do you like rockets? Do you think you can get even more creative by using rockets and hooks and connecting everything as you see fit and just seeing what chaos you can cause? Because you can do a lot. You can and will do a lot. Like YouTube, this video, I'll be honest, right? It may do well, it may not. And if it doesn't do well, it, it's not even a reflection on like the quality of my video productions or anything, right? But YouTube is filled with Just Cause Mayhem videos. Because if you can think about it, you can probably do it, right? The, the talent of the Just Cause community is absolutely insane, right? Um, just the amount of things, you know, like you see people in the air literally attached to, to like a rocket while surfing on a car in the air. Like, you, you know how like Elon Musk, he brought his Tesla car up like close to the freaking moon or something or the end of the Earth's atmosphere or whatever and then like dropped the car and there was a person in it or whatever and it parachuted down. Like, you, you can, I'm pretty sure you can like do that in <laughs> Just Cause. Like, that's a level of madness, right? And there's so many different options. You can make people, cars, vehicles, objects, you know, float away for absolutely no reason. You can create insane explosions, right? Like, it really is the definition of, all right, we're gonna do Grand Theft Auto, but as far as chaos goes and creativity and options, we're gonna do a thousand times better, right? That is honestly what Just Cause is and um, it's a good freaking hoot in time. That's where we need to start talking about the improvements, the area, right? Look, in my defense, I've spent a large portion of this video talking about all the awesome things that Just Cause is known for, right? And, and I stand by them. But there, it is a little bit of a double-edged sword. Yes, you can do crazy things and it's fun and that shouldn't be changed in Just Cause 4. They even added tornadoes into the mix just for kicks, right? They're like, how else can we make this madness go further? And Just Cause 5, the next Just Cause game when it does launch, trust me, they'll implement something else to bring the madness even further. The thing is, with all this madness, I'll be honest, it's really, 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 really hard to focus on the darn missions. And the missions are actually the weak points of the Just Cause games. It is a lot of fun to cause the chaos, right? But eventually, just like Grand Theft Auto, eventually you get tired of the chaos, you need a little bit of a break, and you need to focus then on the single player campaign. This is where Grand Theft Auto does a little bit better, because their story is a lot more engaging. A, a, the story is, is much better, the missions are done better, you know, it's it holds your attention when you're done screwing around. That's where Just Cause has always stuffed up. Once you're done screwing around, the story is normally pretty darn weak and you don't have that much encouragement to go ahead and do the main mission, right? The map as well is really, really confusing. Like, I played a fair bit of Just Cause 4, right? I hate that map. I hated how you expanded the land, right? As soon as you open up the map, it, all the details were really small and all that. Like, I, I found it hard to focus on the story missions when I was actually meant to do that. The reason why I highlight this is I don't want to change the soul and the identity of Just Cause, right? Just Cause should always be about the madness. I understand fans want that to be the primary focus, and so it should stay that way, right? I'm not suggesting for a moment that um, the madness gets second seat and then they focus on the story. What I'm saying is they need to make the story at least enjoyable and give us enough of a reason to actually even do it. That way you can enjoy the overall experience more because then when you're done screwing around, there is something to hold you. See, my relationship with Just Cause, even though I've spoken about it so positively, is when I'm in the mood to screw around, I will reinstall that game, I will play it, I will have a good time. The thing is, the moment the adrenaline is gone, the moment I have tried everything I can think of and I'm over it, there isn't anything to hold me, which is a darn shame because the series is really good. It feels like it's Achilles' heel, right? When a game is really good and there's just one glowing area which isn't great, I always want developers to focus on that 
because whatever sales, whatever success they're seeing for the series at the moment, they can make that even more if they just fine tune certain areas. So yeah, just a little bit more focus on the story, make us care, figure out some incentives so then we can actually bother to do them and get rid of the map, create a better map system, make it very easy so then on the rare chance the players like, right, I need to focus, they look on the map and it's easy to do what they need to do. Now we are a little bit long overdue for a Just Cause game, because I'm going to have a quick look at the side of my screen here. So Just Cause 3 came out in 2015, right? Just Cause 4, which is the most recent entry, came out in 2018, so just three years later. So it's been four years and a larger gap than Just Cause 3 to Just Cause 4 for our Just Cause 5 to come out and Rage 2 which you know came out the very next year oh my goodness really showed off just how talented Avalanche Studios is right the visual graphic quality of Rage 2 play that on max settings on a PC right now still looks as good as any other PC game to date like I think it looks phenomenal a lot of fun the colors everything the engines they use for their games are very very good they are darn talented um developers right like they know what they're doing and they're one of the very few studios which our square didn't sell you know because our square used to own the tomb raider series for example right did those three those rebooted games this and that guess what square sold them they, they don't even own them anymore the just cause franchise though they chose to hold on to just cause so they obviously care about it and you know what the team is so talented they're, they're so talented the games are so gorgeous right it's been four years graphics have come a long way and i want this team to get their due respects i want avalanche studios to launch just cause 5 and instead of the just cause fans and the mayhem creators getting excited i would like to see everyone get excited right like that's how much potential these people have and i don't think it's asking for too much to just make a better map better story structures make us care you know incentivize us to do those main things you know have all the upgrades have all the rewards linked to the story so then like you're forced to do it and make those actual stories enjoyable at the end of the day i just want to share the fun fact that hey a new just cause game the next just cause game just cause 5 most likely is in development i think that's really sweet get excited with me down below in the comment section let me know what it is you love about just cause um the series in general what you liked about just cause 3 what you loved about just cause 4 you know which is your favorite just cause game and what improvements can you think of that they can implement into the just cause series um or screw improvements just what extra features and mayhem can you think of that you're hoping they add this time with that being said ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for hanging out with me have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening, depending on where you all live on this big blue planet of ours. God bless you all. Take care. And see you all for the next video here, Game of My Whole Life, where I release videos at this stage almost every single day. So hit the subscribe button, bell notification. I've covered all the state of play for all my opinions on that. And I'll see you, Smexy ladies and gents, next time. All right. Bye-bye.